Hello Aquarius, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel from the TarotEmpress.com. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot card reading from the 1st until the 7th of November 2019. It is going to be focused on your love life. I've shuffled your cards and we can begin. Now, I'd like to mention that it's important for you to watch your Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus on this channel, okay? And to keep in mind that sometimes the energies can be slightly reversed, okay? So what I like to do is I like to go briefly into each of the energies that I'm looking at and then I like to clarify them, okay? So let's begin. The first energy that I'm looking at is giving me the impression of changes that are coming in your love life. I feel like these changes are good changes and they're positive in nature and it's bringing with it you know this welcomed energy that you've been waiting for for a very long time now if you've been dealing with a specific individual you know there could be changes that are happening in the dynamic of the relationship there could be changes that are happening within their personality these changes can go into a whole array of possibilities and we'll be looking at them shortly now, the next energy I'm looking at is showing to me the energy of the individual you are dealing with. And I feel like this energy is a very interesting energy. It's presenting the notion that this person is thinking about you. And of course, in the clarification part, we'll be looking at what are they thinking about and, you know, what are they really feeling towards you since it's particularly, you know, mentioning their energy. I'll be looking at that now. The next energy that I'm looking at is showing to me that there's something big that's going to be happening. And I feel like you are on, you know, the brink of some major sort of success or victory, something very positive in nature, something that is going to really make you feel very excited about life, okay? And I feel like you're going to have a taste of it, perhaps, you know, during that period of time, we'll be looking at what this major success is going to be in the clarification part. So let's move on to the last card that I'm looking at, right? This card is talking about, you know, movement and things going forward and, you know, things speeding up and it's an exciting sort of energy and I feel like it's all about passion and movement and things, you know, going forward in a way in which you might not have expected for some time. So I'm definitely seeing that there's going to be this uplifting energy, positive energy, and I'm so happy that, uh, you know, this is a, a very light tarot card spread that is talking about positive changes that are happening in your life and that's going to be bringing some uh, wonderful sort of energies into your world from the 1st until the 7th of November 2019. So before I forget, it's important for you guys to subscribe to this channel and to turn on the notification bell so that you're notified whenever a new video is uploaded. If you want a personal reading, you can get it at the tarotempress.com. So let's begin the most exciting part of it all, the clarification part, okay? So let's look at the energy. What is this movement of things that are going to be going forward? Oh, the first card that I got is a very beautiful card. I have to show it to you guys. Okay, so this card is about falling in love. You know, if you're already dealing with somebody that you've been in love with or that you've been in a relationship with, I feel like um, this energy is talking about looking at each other in a different sort of way, you know, new eyes, beautiful sort of energy, you know, seeing things that you didn't see before. It's just beautiful energy about, uh, you know, the human spirit and how it yearns to be in love and to experience all the sensual things that come with, uh, you know, falling in love. So I do feel like, you know, the energies are going to be moving really fast. For some of you that are single, 
you know, you can expect to meet somebody or to uh, find someone that catches your eye and just, you know, captivates you in a way. Now, if you're already in a relationship or maybe your relationship didn't work out like the way you wanted it to, I feel like this specific energy, you know, the way it came up is indicating that the passion is still there, it's still alive, it's still powerful, it's not going anywhere anytime soon. It's something that is growing and it's growing into something very beautiful, right? So the cards are talking about, you know, this energy, right? It's all about taking your time when it comes to love and just embracing it and enjoying it and, uh, you know, not rushing into things because I feel like you're going to want to move really, really fast with this individual. And uh, I feel like uh, the cards are telling you to slow down and to take it, uh, you know, day by day. You don't want to move at a ridiculously fast pace in which you're not ready for it and they're not ready for it. So I feel like the cards are advising you that uh, be patient in the situation, you know, get to know each other very well. Or perhaps if you're getting back together with somebody Make sure you take your time and that, uh, you know, you do your due diligence when it comes to this specific uh, situation. It's very, very important, okay? So I feel like things might move too fast for you to handle and you don't want to be in a situation where you're losing control, you're losing your power. You don't want to be, you know, um, being um, taken by a situation that is not only taking your breath away, but also, you know, making you feel like you don't have power in the situation. So I feel like, yeah, things will move really fast, but slow down a little bit. You know, it's it's good to slow down under certain circumstances because number one, it shows the individual that you're dealing with that you're not desperate, you're not clingy, you don't really, you know, um, have to be in want or in need of anybody, that you're very comfortable being independent and strong. And so when they see that you're being patient, they're going to realize that you're not so eager or desperate for it and they are going to, you know, want to up their game to win your heart over. You know, so I feel like be a little bit tactical here. Let's look at the next energy that is talking about major, major joys, success and happiness, things of that nature. Let's look at that energy. For some of you, I feel like this could be pointing towards the fact that, you know, things were really falling apart in your life at some point. And I'm not saying it was occurring during this period or will occur from the 1st until the 7th of November 2019. But I feel like you've been through so much. You've been through hell and back and you've suffered and you've had your fair share of struggles when it comes to love, right? And I feel like you were worried about things, you were anxious, things were falling apart. And I'm sensing from the cards that, you know, you are on the right path now. Whatever has been knocking you down or hurting you or making you feel a sense of sadness, I feel like that chapter for you is going to be over, okay? And I feel like, you know, the cards are indicating that you're going towards a more healthy, healthier place in your life, okay? The cards are also showing to me that uh, people that did you wrong, perhaps it was your ex or it was somebody specifically or, you know, people that just treated you badly, you know, what they're going to have what's coming towards them. Because I feel like you're moving towards stability. You're moving towards commitment. You're moving towards a healthier, happier existence on this planet. And you deserve it because Aquarian individuals are extremely loving, extremely caring. You know, they make a lot of sacrifices. And people sometimes think that they are aloof, detached, and, you know, they're not very caring. But uh, it's far from the truth. I mean, you guys are the most... One of the most loving zodiac signs around. So let's look at the next energy. The next energy is signifying the energy of a specific person. So how I'm going to interpret this is I'm going to look at uh, their energy. Let's look at their feelings and what are they thinking. So let's have a look. I hope you guys are enjoying these type of readings. I do like to provide more lighter readings on this channel. When I go really deep into the readings, I usually have an extended but, uh, you know, those are very draining and exhausting to do all the time. So uh, these type of readings are also here to provide, um, you know, input and insight as well. 
So I feel like this individual that you're dealing with is, you know, they're very attracted to you. They're very, very attracted for, uh, to you and they like the attention that you show them. In fact, when you're not showing them any attention, they feel kind of uh, lost. They feel like uh, they don't have, you know, a reason to live. It almost feels as if um, they lose their purpose and their compass in this uh, life. And uh, I feel like they get very disgruntled. I do see that they are, you know, thinking about you all of the time. I see that they want to open up their heart to you. Again, I'm getting the impression of love. This card is coming up again. So I feel like uh, whomever you're dealing with definitely sees themselves being with you. And um, they have a vision for the future. And they're looking to have either a new beginning, a fresh start. If you haven't dated this individual, they want to come into your world. They want to be with you romantically. There's definitely that energy of wanting uh, to experience you know, that sort of harmony and joy in their life. So I do feel like this goes much deeper and uh, the attraction they feel for you is pretty strong. Now the last energy, let's look at these changes. What are the changes coming into Aquarius's life? If any of you are interested in learning how to read tarot, you may want to check out the tarot courses and books that I have in the description box below. There's a lot of advice and information provided for you. I did put in a lot of time, approximately two and a half to three years in creating these courses and books. So if you want a very informative sort of uh, way of learning tarot and uh, it's providing you, you know, that intuitive feedback and how you should actually learn it, in order to be able to do readings like myself, then you may consider it. Okay, so I see these changes are pertaining to something that ended, right? And I feel like if you were dealing with someone that was unsure about what they wanted and you were frustrated and waiting for them to come to some sort of realization, I feel like their heart is going to be opening up towards you and it's heading towards something very beautiful in your life okay so i am definitely picking up that you know these changes that you've been waiting for are definitely on the horizon you just have to be a little bit patient but uh, you might start to see the telltale signs of it from the first to the 7th of november 2019 start to realize that uh, you know everything is starting to fall into place and you know things are happening in the background for you so I hope you guys enjoyed your weekly tarot card reading. If you want to post the one, you can get it at thetarotempress.com. Have a wonderful day and take care.